Now in this video we're going to download and install SQL Server Express. Now don't worry about the term server, you do not need a server to install it on. Any modern desktop or laptop that's a Windows or a Linux machine will be fine. If you've got a Macintosh then you'll need to, some way to be able to use Windows, so either using parallel desktop or dual booting. So the easiest way is just to type it in, SQL Server, and I'm going to type in Express 2019. So the first thing we've got is a Microsoft, and I would recommend downloading it from a Microsoft address. Then you know you're not getting anything additional. So let's have a look at the options. Now it starts off by saying we can download it on premises. That just means on your computer or on a server. The alternative is in the cloud, that's Azure, Microsoft's cloud product. Let's just scroll down, download a free specialised edition. So the developer edition is a really good thing. It is something that gives you the power of the full enterprise edition without any of the cost. Slightly more difficult to install, not hugely, and if you are going to go on and look at SSIS, SSRS or SSAS, so this is SQL Server Integration Services, Reporting Services or Analysis Services, then I would use the Developer Edition right from the beginning because you will need that for those additional services. If, however, what you want to learn is TSQL, so this is the select star from name of table, what we're going to do now, or if you want to have a look at some of database administration, then I will download the Express Edition. So feel free to download the Developer Edition. If you want to do that, then have a look at a YouTube video of mine that is in the resource to this particular video. As I say, it's only slightly more complicated. But for now, we're going to download the Express Edition, which is a bit easier to install. Now, just as a quick note, this requires Windows 8 or Windows 10 with a 64-bit processor. That's the majority of modern computers. So if you're not sure, then download it and see if it works. If it doesn't work, it will tell you so very clearly. And then I will download SQL Server 2014. Again, I've got another YouTube video for how to do that. The link to that video is attached as a resource to this video. So I'll click download now and you can see very quickly we have the boot strap as they call it, a small bit that actually gets all of the files. So we have got three different options, basic with the default configuration, custom, or you can download the entire file and then install them on whatever machine you want. Now let's see what happens if you install with the basic configuration. So you've got these terms and conditions that you have to read, which basically says this is your software. Basically it's free software, what do you expect? So I'll click accept. Where do you want it to be saved to? Well, I'm going to save it to a slightly different location, Microsoft SQL Server 2019 Express, and click install. And here you can see it's installing. Now let's just have a talk about some of the terminology that we've had. We've got the Express Edition. Well, there are multiple editions. The Express Edition is this cut down version that's free. You've got a developer edition, which is a more expanded version that's free, but can't be used in as many places. You'll still be able to use it in your own computer for learning purposes, but that's basically what the developer edition is for. You've then got the paid for versions. You've got the standard version and you've got the enterprise version. And those can cost quite a lot of money. So that's why we're using a free version. Now let's have a look at this 2019 bit. Well, SQL Server, the first edition I think was in 2000 and then there was a 2005, 2008. And then the next one is a strange one, 2008 R2, release two. Don't know why they didn't call it 2010 but they didn't do that in future. They did 2012, 2014, 2016. You might think the next one would be 2018, but no, they got one in 2017 and then 2019. So they would generally release one every two years. So now you can see that it has completed successfully. 
Now let's have a look at the bottom items. Connect now, customize, install SSMS and close. It's this third option I want you to have a look at. SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio, is your front window. It's your user experience. So at the moment, you can't actually use SQL Server Express Edition easily. You would have to have some program to connect to it. So I'm going to install SSMS. So that takes me to another web page. And if for some reason you no longer see that dialog box and you can't click on the button, just go to Google and type in SSMS. And this will take you to the download page, exactly the same page as we've got previously. And if you've just installed SQL Server using the custom installation, you can also get to this page by restoring the window that we'd previously minimized and clicking on the link to SSMS in this window. So however you get here, you see that SSMS is free. And it doesn't really matter what the latest version is. It happens to be 18.6 at the moment, but it will just keep on getting slightly better and you probably won't notice any of the differences. So let's run that. And here you can see it's downloading. It'd take about six minutes on my version. So just let it download. Right, now it has downloaded. It's asking for permission to make changes to my computer. So I'm just going to say that's fine. Click install. And it's now downloading the packages. So this is your front engine. This is the user interface that you will be using. So now everything has been installed, so I'll click close. So we've installed the back engine, we've installed the front engine of SQL Server. That's all the installation we need to do. So now the only thing we need to do is to run SQL Server Management Studio. Now to run SSMS, we just go to your start menu. So just to click here to search and just type in SSMS. So this is the latest version that I've installed, version 18.6. So I'll just click on that and it starts to open. So I can now close all windows that I've previously got open. And here we are. So this is the connection. It needs to know that you have sufficient rights to be able to log into SQL Server after all those going to be a lot of data that you have on SQL Server and we need to make sure that the right person is doing this. Now as you have installed SQL Server Express you have the rights to whatever you want. So you have administrator rights. Now what is your server name? Well it could well be localhost if you've just downloaded it on your computer. Alternatively it could be a dot, a period a full stop. Now try one of those and see if it works and leave everything else the same. Database engine should be there, Windows authentication should be there. If however you've got multiple SQL servers then you'll need to select which one and I happen to have multiple SQL servers. I've also got the developer edition. So I'm going to click on the drop down box and browse for more and I'll expand my local servers, ones on my computer, the database engine, and you can see here, it has installed it as name of my computer slash SQL Express. So click OK and connect. And now I am connected to my SQL Express. Once you have done that, that is the difficult bit of installing all done. Everything else, that you wish to do regarding TSQL or database administration can just be done in this program. So let's have a quick look around. On the left hand side, we have the object explorer. Objects are things like databases, tables, views, basically anything you create, anything that SQL Server creates is an object. And we can expand or collapse any of these nodes by just clicking on the plus or the minus button next to it. So there are no databases in at the moment, so we don't have anything there. We don't have any of my user databases. So we have security, server objects, replication, polybase and management, 
and quite frankly you don't need to have a look at those when you're just starting out in SQL Server. It's this databases that you will really be having a look at. Now we have a lot of menus and most of them you probably don't need. I mean you have a find and replace and we have a go to a particular bit but most of them not necessary. There will be some bits that you might be going oh I want to go into options and have a look at something. There's also a lot of icons. The vast majority of icons you will not need. The ones you will need are new query and execute. So having clicked on new query we get this new window and we can have as many queries as we like. It might get a bit complicated if you have so many queries that you don't know what to do with them. So this is when you type in your query so I'm just going to type in one of the most basic queries, press execute and you get your results at the bottom. So that's what a query window is. And so it is new query and execute which are going to be the most important parts of this toolbar along with this one which also shows which database you are in. So now we have successfully installed SQL Server back engine, the front engine and we have opened and had a quick look around SQL Server Management Studio. So now we can start learning how to use SQL Server. Well now we are in SSMS, that's almost it for this video. Coming up we'll have a look at the custom installation process. But before we do that, if you like this video why not click like and then why not click subscribe and check the bell and that way you'll be informed of any new videos. And now let's have a look at the custom installation process. So let's click on the custom installation tab. So where do you want it to download? You can change that and then it downloads the installation package. So we'll just skip over that for now. So once the custom download has happened, you then get the SQL Server Installation Center. And it's this top one we want to go for, the new SQL Server standalone installation. It's also where you go if you want to add features to a SQL Server you've previously installed. So if I click on it, we can now minimize this window and the computer then makes sure your computer is fine, that it's got the latest version of things that it needs. So you can see, scan for product updates, just checking everything's fine. This Windows firewall, it gives a warning, it just says it's there. But I don't think there's anything you really need to worry about. Click next. So do you want to perform a new installation of SQL Server? or add features to an existing version if you've already got it. So you can come back to this if you say getting the developer edition and you want to add SSIS, SSAS, SSRS, any of these extra parts of SQL Server. But we can't do that with the Express edition anyway. So I'm going to perform a new installation. So I'll accept the license terms and the privacy statement. Again, useful to read, click next. And then here is the main page. What is it that you want to install? And the computer has just checked a number of things. So you can just leave it alone or you can say, well, I'm not going to do anything with R or Python or Java. So I don't want the machine learning services. In fact, that's what I would do. I would get rid of the machine learning services unless you're actually going to be using them. SQL Server Replication, again, I don't think I would use it. That's just getting the objects, the tables and so forth, what you're going to store from one database to another. We don't need it for necessarily for this level. And full text and semantic extractions, again, I don't think we'll need. So I'll just have this. This is the important thing. Database Engine Services. That is the core service for storing, processing and securing data. So as long as everything else is fine, so this instance I'm going to change it to Microsoft SQL Server 2019 Express Custom just because I can. So I'll click next. It's now going to just check everything. So we're going down this long list. You can see where we are highlighted in bold. So what's the name of this instance? Uh, well, I've already got some X um, installed on my computer, so I'm just going to call it SQL Express Custom. Click Next. 
and then it keeps on checking going down this list but that's the hard work done the hard work was in the feature selection so service account collation i'm just going to leave as is collation just means what language rules are you got again windows authentication mode i'm just going to leave as is i'm going to leave all of this as is and in case you are not an administrator you can click on add current user but you should be an administrator which means you have unrestricted access to the database engine so that doesn't mean that you have unrestricted access to the computer it just means you have unrestricted access to the sql server so click next and then it installs and hopefully it will install fairly easily And there you go, it's all installed. So just click close and it's done.